Hello all, Shoestring here. Today we're going to be updating my auxiliary power system with this new Bateria solar charge controller. It's a 2.0 and it's a 20 amp. It's a MPPT and it is a, like I said, solar charge controller, Sunrock 20 Pro. It does 12 and 24 volt and I'm going to be updating my auxiliary power system today with this new charge controller. So as most of you know, if you've watched these before, I have an auxiliary power system I use, which is these two 100 watt solar panels from Harbor Freight. And I have a hub that connects them. It goes from there to the wire into my battery room. Then from the wire, it connects to this Renergy charge controller that I've been using right there. It hasn't been too bad. The reason I'm upgrading it to this new one is the wires here look too thin to me. And when my auxiliary system is at full power, I'm afraid it might melt to these. So I want to upgrade the wires is what I initially wanted. I did get, at first, thicker wires. And I had them all laid out nicely. But they don't fit in the small access points right in there. They're too thick to go in there. You can only have the little thin wires. And I decided that was not safe. Because I don't want anything to get hot and burn up. So my solution to that was to find another charge controller that's still MPPT and can handle all the wattage from my auxiliary system. To do that, I have selected this Bateria Power. And we're going to open it up and we're going to connect it right now. First thing we're going to do, though, is disconnect the Renergy Voyager. So we're going to do the disconnect the solar panel first, and then we will disconnect the alligator clips. Now, let's open it up and see what we have here. Turn it the correct way. So, we have first paperwork shows an app, Charge Pro 2.0, good. This is for Google, and that's the App Store. So we'll hang on to this because it looks like we can monitor it with an app. Second is a quick guide on how to start it and connect it all which I like. And then we have a user manual. User manual can be very, very helpful. Give you a quick look at the main features. Product overview real fast. Okay, then let's see what we have inside. We have our, of course, our charge controller. Very light. And it has the SAE connectors. I like SAE connectors because they're waterproof and they're very simple to use. And you don't have to worry about wire sizes and connections like you do with other charge controllers. This is an inline charge controller, and I like that. They're easy to use. I like the quick disconnect here. It also says it's 12 or 24 volt, so you should know that. It will work with what? AGM, gel, deep cycle, flooded, and of course, lithium, which is what we're going to use it for today. And as we know, MPPT is much more efficient than the other forms that you can get. It's also waterproof, by the way. And like I said, it has a built-in Bluetooth. In the back, it gives you some other information, but most of that's pretty general. So let's go ahead and see what else we have. Okay, we have a sm another small connector, 
if the polarity you're using is not the same as what they have here. And two small SAE connectors with already taken care of in the back stripped. And we'll hang on to those. They could be very useful in some other project. Don't think I need it for this one. And of course, screws if you want to screw your charge controller in. I'm not going to because I might want to move this around. And remember, this is only auxiliary power. I only really hook it up when the system is using a lot of power and the chart and the solar panels on the roof is not putting out enough power. So let's go ahead and hook it up, see how it works. Go ahead and connect it. Hook it up to the battery. And there it comes on. It's trying to read the voltage, see where we're at. And it is set for lithium 12 volt, as you can see there. Of course, no voltage, no amps, because it's not connected to the solar panels yet. Gives a temperature, that's pretty standard. But I do like this. The screen is small, but it's easy to read. And as you can see here, it will show you the levels of charge and tell you what type of battery you're using. And we want lithium, which is set up right there. So we connect to the batteries first, where the device says output. We want that connection to go to the batteries. It already says we're 100% charged at 13.2. But let's go ahead and hook our solar panel up. So in case you missed that, the charge controller was saying error 13. Now it says there is no error. When I looked up the error 13 in the manual, it said error 13 is solar reverse polarity. So I put in the extra connector they gave us for polarity right there, and the error went away. And now we have no error. So, this is working the way we wanted it to work. And I think it will be a wonderful addition to my solar system here. And will make this auxiliary power a lot safer. As you can see, it is still saying that how much is coming in from the solar panels. It's not sunny today, so we're not going to have a lot of power come in, but I do believe this is a good solution. And if you need auxiliary power that's more than one solar panel, you may want to consider this as well. So if you like these videos, please like, subscribe, and share. Shoestring out.